guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently sat amongst a lot of rocks and that's because I'm trying to reorganize all of my fossils. Now it's quite the task and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing everything because I've pulled out all the things I've found on previous fossil hunting trips over the past few years because I really want to process everything this summer before I move to Greece for my masters. So this video is kind of like a, what upcoming projects am I going to be working on and just reorganizing everything. And it's uh, quite, quite a task, but we're getting there. And a lot of it is just recycling because obviously when you fossil hunt, you wrap up each uh, find or specimen in a lot of newspaper. And so I'm finding that I can just decrease the volume quite a lot just by sorting through it. So yeah, I will show you what I've done so far because I have made quite a bit of progress because I thought you guys don't want to watch a time lapse of me sorting for hours all my rocks. So I've made some progress and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so obviously that was where I was sat, so you can see my little space, but I'm basically filling up these little mushroom crates, or I think they were mushroom crates, with different projects. So this one here, these are all um, kind of like crushed ammonites with iridescent shells, so these are like mud rock ones. So these are on a time limit, and now I found these, you know, probably a good 10 months ago, and so they're really at risk if I don't prep these soon, and I completely forgot about them. Like, I don't know what happened, I must have just been really busy when I found them, but you can kind of see the type of ammonites they are, because I remember I went through a stage of prepping a load of them, and then these ones just slipped through the cracks. So I found these all at the back, um, underneath my uh, fossil table, so at least I found them, and they, they seem salvageable still. So these I'm going to be doing fairly soon because I don't want them to break on me. Now we literally just, this is my tripod, we just have loads of ammonites everywhere. So I'm trying to categorise my ammonites into kind of like the quality of them. So we have a bucket here of fragments. Now the fragment ones, um, they're either fragments or they have like holes in them. These ones I plan on putting them in like one massive jar. I just haven't found the jar yet so they're just kind of in storage and they'll go at the back um, and then I think I have two buckets of these so this is one here and then we've got another one of bits and pieces here also excuse my fashion sense today I don't know why I thought star and moon trousers with flowery crocs was a good idea but this happens regularly you know we're just used to it now then this bucket is all nautiloid, so I found more than I thought. They're all, like, none of them are perfect. So they're all kind of, like, crushed or fragmented, but in a way, still perfect. This one's pretty cool. Like, this one's literally sliced in half. Is it going to focus? And there's, like, crystals in the centre. But if I turn it around, you can see it's a nautilus, and then it's just like that. So I need to clean this, maybe with some bleach, because it's been quite weathered but it might look quite lovely underneath. Then we've got some big ones. This isn't whole, but it's big. But the center might be there, so that one needs a prep job. But yeah, these are just all my nautiluses that I've found, so that's quite a fun basket because it's not an ammonite for once. Then we have some bigger ammonite projects that I need to work out how I'm going to prep, which is always a fun part. And then I think this one, is in just too hard of a rock so I might have to just make that a garden ornament and then we have some more ammonites <laughs> and just lots and lots of bits and bobs then this bucket here is the projects that I need to prep so these need some work with a dremel that type of thing to get them looking nice but I saw potential with these ones so we will see it. and this one's quite cool you can see the gastropod it's a really nice the preserved one in the corner there so I want to get that out and then this is literally a box of just nice ammonites <laughs> that need a you know probably a good wash and maybe a slight dremel to get the centers out but that's about it and then I put to one side these are all my shells and bellum nights that I found so I did try and find all the bellum nights that I had found and put them in jars but there were still some, so these are the rest of the bellum nights. So once I wash these and put them in the jar, I have prepped every bellum night I have found, and they are in my room, which is hallelujah. That is a good thing. And then these are all different shells, and this is a really cool gastropod. Look at the grooves on that. Focus. Look at the detail on that shell. It's just amazing, and that's the outside of it. So that's sea-worn, 
and then that's what was hiding inside. But I just love the variety of different shells. So these are bivalves and brachiopods, but we've got all the different types you can think of. And they're just really, really nice. So yeah, oh, and we've got a stack of crinoid stars. So that's quite nice as well. So these I put all to one side to kind of keep them safe. And then we've got some pebbly stuff over here, which again, will probably go in like a jar or something because they're not like exceptional, but I also don't want to get rid of them. Um, so yeah, and then we've just got lots and lots of ammonites to put in their boxes. And then if we go over here, so the reason I am sorting all my rocks at the moment is because I'm going to be slicing this bad boy. And this one was at the back of my fossils, um, like right at the back under the table. So I had to take everything out to find this one. And um, in doing so, I was like, I might as well sort through it all. Now, I finally have found somewhere that's going to slice up this rock. Now, it is huge. And so it, you can't just have a normal saw to cut this. You need an industrial massive saw. And the reason I want to cut it, so obviously there is an ammonite on the front there. But down the side, let's do this with my foot. You can see this is a cross section of a massive ammonite, but it continues all the way to here. So that's the edge of the shell there, and that's the other edge there. So this is a massive cross section. So what I'm thinking is if I cut it right and polish it, I should have a massive kind of half ammonite, almost like a rainbow in this rock. And I'm gonna then polish the surface and see what it looks like. And if you look down one of the whorls, can you see the crystals that are inside? So it's a really nice specimen. So that's coming with me to get sliced. And then these were some other rocks that I might also get sliced just because they're in really, really hard limestone. So I can't prep these very easily. And so slicing them might be the better option. But again, you can see another cross section of an ammonite in this one. And then this one is also extremely hard, but I don't know if this one's worth cutting, but you can see the chambers at the top there. So there's definitely something in here. It's just whether it's gonna want to come out in a nice fashion. But I will film the process of that. I just thought I'd, that's a upcoming project for next week. So that'll be out soon. And then this is one that I found a while ago, but I just, I re-found it today and it's so beautiful. I mean, it's, it's very worn, but in a lovely way, it just gives it so much character. So I really like this one. So this is a harposterous ammonite. And I just think it's, it, it's just so lovely that it's literally in a square rock. It's just perfect. And then these are some other just rough ammonites that I might try and slice in half. So this one, you can't distinguish between the rock and the ammonite. So when you're trying to prep this, there's no way of knowing if you're hitting the fossil or whether you're in the matrix. So to prep this, you literally have to carve it, which isn't ideal, but maybe I can slice it. So that might get sliced. And then this was also a potential slicing one because it's got crystals in it. If I don't know if it's focusing enough. So it's really nice, but it's not a whole ammonite. So I was thinking maybe in half it would show the chambers with some calcite in. But again, they're all potentials. But um, yeah, so that's roughly what I've been doing today. If we come back over here, I'll try not to trip over all my <laughs> rocks on the floor. I've redone my table here. So... I put down this kind of like foam stuff and then this is a project as well I want to do. So this is a litoceros ammonite that I need to buy some epoxy glue for so this the two pieces can join together. It's a really lovely example. And then I am finally going to prep my light in my mega litoceros, which is here. I'm kind of in a litoceros mood. So we're going to be doing this one, this one, and then these pieces here are all from the same family litoceros. So I'm going to be prepping those. And then that's also a litoceros there. So I just got them all out basically. And then there's just lots of other, other bits and pieces that I found that I thought they don't belong in boxes. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I've just kind of put them all here for now. So yeah, I think, I think that's it. Okay. So I'm going to start by putting the fragment crates at the back. So that's this one down here, which it's going to weigh a ton. So you can see it here. I won't lift it too far off the ground in case it um, breaks on me. Oh, because they're only plastic. So 
that's one. Then this is another fragment crate. So I have plans for these, which is why I'm not just putting them in the garden because I think they'll look really nice, like all the ribbing of the ammonites in like a big glass jar. Um, I haven't found that glass jar yet, but it needs to be a really strong grade glass. So I'm thinking of like some massive chemistry test tube thing that maybe they use in industry. I haven't found it yet, but I have, an, I have a vision in my head. So I'll find it at some point and obviously let you guys know. But I'm just going to wiggle this one out. I don't know how heavy. Okay. It's much easier to push with your feet. Dun, dun, dun. That one's in. So they're the two crates that are kind of just getting stored. Then I'm going to put the... This is all the slabs of ammonites that I need to prep soon. So these are all the mud ones. That can go there. Um, then... These ones mainly need a wash. Um, so let me think how to do this. I'm going to put the Nautiluses at the back. Like that. And then these two in front. These are just, these are like whole ammonites that just need like a wash and a little bit of a prep. But they're not too bad. Like that. And then the rest of these, I've just got like a crate down here that I'm going to just drop projects in that I haven't decided yet how to do. For instance, I've got like this Harposterous ammonite that's trapped in the rock here. So you can see all the amazing ribbing there. But I, I have no idea how to get this off because obviously the main chunk is here and this side is not in a good shape. So I've got to try and like chip off all of this in front of it. And I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. So that's another project. So let me know if you have any tips on that one. Um, but that's what do. Then here's like another ammonite. I'll just show you guys a few of what I'm working on. So this one's nice but not perfect but I'll still you know I'll clean it up and see how it's doing. Oh I'm making a mess of it now. Oops. <laughs> we'll just leave it. <laughs> and then this one goes here. Like so. Ah. It's looking much more organized. I still need to sort all of this but we're getting there. <laughs> progress is being made so what are you oh my god this is a bag of what are you look at that chunk that's quite a nice chunk that's too nice of a chunk to just go in my jar so I'll leave that one out I need to work out what species that is I have found a bag that I haven't processed because this is full of bellum nights and I have sorted all my bellum nights. So I'm gonna make a pile of them because they will all have to go in their jars. Oh shit. There are loads of bellum nights in here. Look at this. <laughs> These are all oops. <laughs> all bellum nights, so Let's see what else. There's also a lot of ammonites as well. This is always the case, just when you think you've like processed everything, you find another batch. And this is a nice batch. The bellum nights in this are amazing. That was a really fun bag. You can see we've got loads more bellum nights with lots of fragma cones as well. So this was awesome. This was just tucked away hiding. But there's loads of bits and bobs here and quite a lot of shells. So I'm quite happy about that because I don't find them all that often. So I kind of find a couple every so often and it's nice to have them all in one place. So these will go in a jar once I clean them up but I don't think I have time today to clean these so that will probably be at some point in the future because I don't have a time limit on these but at least they're sorted. And then this is the other stuff so some really nice pieces. Not all of them are in one piece but a few. So there's some nice examples of it. So I'm going to finish here. 
and uh, sort the last few bits out. But I've got to say, look how much, like, it's so organized. The box at the back has all, like, my newspaper and bags in it. This has some big projects. I'll put some of the other ones in there as well. Then I have six crates of kind of things that I'm processing, minus the two at the back, which are already kind of... They don't need any more work. I'm just going to let them be like that and wait for a jar. And I even have more space to fill. So, no, I am super happy with my progress today and lots of fun things to come so yeah my fossil table is now looking much better and i put all this i cut the foam into like tetris shape so it now covers the whole of the wooden surface just to ensure its protection and also it's a lot nicer for the fossils to sit on something they can kind of absorb into because none of them have a flat surface on the back so it's a, it's just a little bit safer for them i find um, but yeah, so I've got lots to be working on and of course I'll bring you guys all with me when I do so But I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing <laughs> a little insight into what I go through and I have a lot to process still I always think I make loads of progress and then I realize that I still have so much left But that's just part of it, isn't it? I feel like that's normal but next week slicing the fossils should be really fun and polishing them up and also um for those of you who were i did read everyone's comments on my last video sorry i haven't had time to get back to you all yet that's on my agenda to do but um the ammonite with the bite marks in there's no other stress around the shell so i will show it again next week when i can hold it again but it's got the two punch marks so i think what happened is the jaw was obviously closing on the ammonite but it just gave way on the top so that's where the teeth kind of went in but the other teeth i guess they didn't manage the shell was stronger maybe before it got crushed but it probably was a fatal injury injury um but obviously it's all theoretical and presu uh, presumptions so presumptions i think that's how you say it who knows but next week we can look at different shaped teeth and uh, see which ones fit i know a lot of people think maybe ichthyosaur plesiosaur pliosaur so there's many options which could be good fun so thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video i'll be back with more soon i just thought i would do a little update during the week because i know you know just once a week it's never enough really but um so i thought i'd do a little update on what i'm planning to do over the next two months but look after yourselves stay well i'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there as well but um yeah thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you next week